Welcome to Signing Day coverage, presented by West 10 Media, where we showcase some of the best student athletes securing their college future. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you hadn't already, hit the notification bell. Enjoy the video. Hey, we're here with Ms. Comer of the Brighton Cardinals, and uh, big day for you. Getting ready to head off to Northwest for softball. How does it feel to achieve your signing day? Um, it's amazing. I've been wanting this since I was 10 years old, and to have it finally come in true is awesome. Now, you started the game by playing baseball with the boys at the age of four, five, and what was it like when you, I guess, started playing the game? What gravitated you towards the game? Um, my friends were there, the ones that I grew up with, the ones that I was with every single weekend, they were there, so it was us just having fun, and that's really where I started my love for the game, was just simply having fun. Hey, that's usually what, what I guess, gravitates a child to the game. But by 10, you had to make a business decision. Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad had to invest some money in this, travel ball and all this. When did you realize, hey, I can go to college and take this to the next level? Probably around freshman year, honestly, because that's when I was like, okay, I just tore my ACL. I need mm -hmm. to, it's either go and get better or stop. Just and quit. that's when I really had to think, I'm wanting to do this. I have to work. I have to put effort and everything in to get back into it. And that's when it really clicked that I had to get back and I had to get better. What drove you? Because a lot of players do reach that crossroad, unfortunately, when they come to an end, especially that ACL. What made you keep going? My love for the sport and my drive, how much I wanted to go to college, how much I loved it. And it would kill me not to just touch a ball for those four months that I was out. And I couldn't imagine not playing the, the rest of my life, and I know it's not going to happen, but I just you want to get to as much time out exactly. as you could. Now, 14, that's a special age there for a lot of kids when you get into high school, but it's a special age for you also because your dad was coaching you up to that point. Mm -hmm. He's at Brighton High School. Talk about that dynamic and that part of your relationship. <laughs> um, we definitely had a lot of ups and downs. Um, mm, very honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it wasn't always, you know, the happiest of times, but it really did help our relationship out for the long run because we are very close now. It's part that he was my coach, and no, and a lot of kids can't say that, that it's different from dad to coach. It's completely different. I was about to ask you that. What's the difference between dad? What's the difference between coach? Um, dad, oh, you're doing good. You're doing great. You know, coach. You suck. You don't have work. <laughs> and he's going to be the hardest on you because you are his kid, and he doesn't want to like show favoritism. Well, the ultimate coach in the whole situation is Miss Hell, your mom. Mm -hmm. How does she help balance everything and, and keep you motivated, keep you on the right path? Um, she sits me down and she she's very blunt. She doesn't sugarcoat anything. She I picked tells, up on it while talking to her. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't sugarcoat anything. She'll tell me. She'll say, "You're not working. Like you need to go out and work." And I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." And then I'll work. And she's really just the biggest motivator. She's the best person that just pushes me, and she's the best. Okay. Now, meeting your parents here today and seeing what they instill in you as a person, accountability, and uh, thinking of others, especially when you're raised by a coach, mm -hmm. and you have a bunch of teammates here today celebrating this moment with you, how do they motivate you and drive, especially when you have to be a leader on this Lady Cardinal team? Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm feeling down, I'm like, man, you know, it sucks. We're doing this, we're doing that. They're always there, like, but we got it. We can do it. Nobody's ever like, yeah, that's right. It sucks and go down. We're always motivating everybody. And that's what, growing up with the coach and the dad, it was never, I quit, I quit. You always get pushed to do the best you can, no matter if you're sick, crying, hurt, whatever, you're going to do the best you can and you're not going to give up. And we're expecting a bounce back season from the Lady Cardinals. When y'all fly on the radar, no pun intended, y'all usually surprise people there in May. So we're going to hope for that as well. But your college future is Northwest. You're heading down to Mississippi to a familiar name in charge of the program. Around this area, we, we know Coach Brown. Mm -hmm. She can get around the base path in like three seconds. <laughs> and she has mythical tales about her and her feats on the field. Are you ready to play for that type of athlete? I'm That's so ready. Coach? Oh, okay. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. To the most? Um, just everything that she has to offer. She knows so much about the game, and she's just such an inspiration for me. The gold medal would do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and um, my goal is to play at Mississippi State, and that's where she played. She broke several records at Mississippi State, and it's just, it's like an honor to be able to play for her. 
Wow. Now, hey, you do well in front of us. You'll put a word in for everybody. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> well, we thank you for taking time on your signing day as you get ready to have some no words. And we just want to congratulate you from the millions and stuff. Thank you. Thank you.